Hi everyone, my name is Jonathan. I am Pet Wellbeing's Marketplace and Wholesale Manager, and joining me today is Mandy, Pet Wellbeing's Lead Product Developer. Today, we're gonna to be answering some of the most frequently asked questions about our liquid supplements. Now, Mandy, how do pet owners give one of our liquid formulas to their pets? Most of the formulas have the same administration. So you unscrew the cap here, I've got a bottle here. Unscrew the cap and you'll see there's a dropper inside. It's a calibrated dropper and it's got a 0 0.25, 0 0.5, 0 0.75 and one mil increments on there. That makes the dosing really easy. Um, you need to know how much your pet currently weighs and then you dose accordingly. Depending on the formula you purchased, it will say whether to give it to your pet once or twice daily. Most of them are twice a day and the amount listed on the label is the amount you give for each dose. Remember that a 0.25 mil is equal to five drops. Most formulas indicate a dosage of one drop per two pounds. A few of them are one drop per one pound, um, but if it's one drop per two pounds and you have a 10 pound pet, you'll give five drops each time or a quarter of a mil. So you just pull it up into the dropper, look at the increment, and then you would put that um, into the pet's food. By far the easiest way to administer the liquids is into your pet's food. You want to make sure that your pet consumes all the food so that they get the full dose. And for some pets, squeezing the drops directly into the mouth is unpleasant for them, so we would definitely recommend to just mix it right into the food. Do you want to talk about what sizes the liquids come in? Yeah, for sure. So our products come in two different sizes. One is a two ounce bottle and one is a larger four ounce bottle. Now, both of the product inside of the bottles is identical. One is just a larger value size. Now, sometimes there's a dark residue on the dropper. What is that and can I still give it to my pet if I find this? It's actually a good thing, although it doesn't look very nice at first, but all of our herbal extracts are the most potent extractions we can make. That means over time, the active constituents in the plant may start to precipitate or come out of the solution, out of the liquid, and it's a totally normal process of a natural high potency herbal extract. With some herbs, it happens more than others, uh, so some products, uh, te that tends to happen more than others. Uh, this is a, one that it happens in most frequently a uh, thyroid support gold and I'll just give you an example of what that looks like you'll you'll see a residue that sticks onto the dropper and the sides of the bottle we just recommend that you give it a really good shake before you give it to your pet um, then it tends to mix back in a little bit uh, but it's nothing to worry about it's just uh, unfortunately what happens with a really high quality potent tincture do these need to be stored in the fridge our liquids are heat stable, meaning that no, they don't require refrigeration. They can adequately withstand both a fairly high and fairly low temperature, so if you do want to store it in the refrigerator, that is completely fine. Betty, if a pet is taking medication or has other health issues, is it safe to give our products to the pet? Each product is individual. The cautions are on the label of the product you buy and they're also listed on our website with some additional information too on the website. Um, it's always good to check with your veterinarian if your pet has an existing health issue and you want to add a new supplement into your pet's health regime. If there are drug interactions, health issues that are contraindicated with that formula or other cautions, those are all listed right on the label of the product. If a pet doesn't like it, can a customer return the product? Yeah, absolutely. We have a 90 day money back guarantee at Pet Wellbeing. So if your pet is refusing to take the product, you're not happy with it or anything else that might arise, we'll be sure to give you a full refund within that period. Now Mandy, last question I have for you is, if a pet is really picky, do you have any suggestions for how to get them to take it? An added tip if you have a really picky pet is to slowly introduce the supplement over a week or even longer. So you would just give a partial dose, say for the first week, and just customize them to the flavor of it, just slowly. It tends to work a lot better with picky pets. If you have any questions at all, please call our customer service people at 1-877-633-2401.